the events took place because this uh, house was built in 1772. So this is like a, you know, this is a beautiful uh, great hall. And I'd like to show you, John, that this here, this, this uh, image is of, of William Livingston. And William Livingston was the first elected governor of New Jersey, which I told you prior. And if you're the first of anything, uh, you have everything that's possible historical. So this is a historic house. And this is William Livingston. And William Livingston's uh, wife is over here. And this is his wife, Susanna French Livingston. And they had 13 children. And one of the daughters that you see behind you is the one that planted the tree up front, Susan Livingston. So this is the tree that she planted, Susan okay. Livingston. When she was a uh, young child, and it was a sapling, it's not doing well now. Yeah, I just, that's what I thought. I said, that one's not doing too well either. It's not doing well. <laughs> but his other daughter, this is his daughter, he's had 13, this is Sarah Livingston, and Sarah Livingston married John Jay. So if that sounds familiar, John Jay was the first Supreme Court Justice. So that's a political wedding. John Jay, you have William Livingston. So what political person would come? Revolutionary War is going on. Who's the general in the Revolutionary War? The famous general, George Washington. Okay, George, so okay, he all right. came to the wedding and Martha, and they were in the Great Hall. So that was George Washington came to the wedding. Now we've had eight presidents that came to the Big Hall. So here is one of the presidents. A lot of people don't recognize him, John, but you might recognize him. Here's the president over here, the heaviest president. Hoover. No. No. Lot, yeah, everybody says Hoover, people, but he's not. Definitely um. sounds familiar, but this is Taft. And okay. Taft was the heaviest president. So he came here, and they said he sat in his chair. It's hard to believe. But anyway, that's a story from the house. And then we have this president that came. So this is really great to get his picture, George Bush. But he was vice president at the time. And also, Gerald Ford came here. So we'll walk around here, and we're going to show you an image here of another president. Now. It's not a test, but you might recognize this president here. Okay, next thing. Yeah. Ronald Reagan. Oh, and Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Reagan actually did not come to the house. But I like to show his picture because it's here with Governor Thomas Kane, who was a cousin of the people that lived in the house. So the cousin uh, had a meeting with Ronald Reagan. That's why we have this picture. So it's good to see that. What I'd like to show you here is Governor Livingston's son, Brock Holtz. And Brock Holtz inherited the house. Now, Brock Holtz was a, when Governor Livingston died, but Brock Holtz was a Supreme Court justice and did not want the property. He did not want to have uh, the property to take care of. So he put it on the market and was bought by public people. Usually we have some some brochures here, which I like, because it gives you a litany of the who had the house. So, Brockle sold the house, and it went to um, the public. But I like to show you these images because I want to be finished with this room. So this is the last people to live in the house. So this is Captain John Kane, Captain John Kane, and his wife. Mary Alice Barney Kane lived in the house with their three children. These are the last people in the 1900s that lived in the house. So here is the captain's three children and Mary Alice's. And I have to tell you and remember this, John, that every first son, every firstborn son was named John. So that'll be easy for go. John Kane. So here are, so this is the captain and here are his children. Stuart, who's passed, and May, who's passed, and here's his first son named John King. So that is uh, the first son, and we go over here, and here is his brother, 
Robert Kane. And Robert Kane had Thomas Kane, who was the governor, but they're cousins. So this is Robert Kane. Here's Thomas Kane. This little boy here is Thomas Kane. So we're going to go this way. So this is the great, the great hall. And all this is Mary Alice, the last woman to live in the house. Here she is as a young woman. Here she's as a widow. She died in 1995. When she died, they closed the house. Now she always had guests and visitors and she had them explore the house. But when she died, they closed it and then they renovated, opened it in 2000. So actually we've been open now 19 years. So the last woman to live in the house. So I'd like to tell you the history of the room. So here we are in the dining room and this was actually the governor's library. So this was his library, but you know, whoever hurts the house can make it something different. So that yeah. was set up for the dining room with all the crystal and the china and the silverware from some member of the house. All the antiques somebody had owned, so it's not that you, they're all identified. But I'd like to show you this image here. This is the very first John Kane. John Kane was a soldier in the Revolutionary War for the Patriots, and he actually married this woman here. Now, we'll just be brief about it, but this is Susan Livingston, so that sounds familiar, but that was the governor's niece. So he married Susan Livingston, and they had one child, and it was the only child not named John Kane. Their child was named Peter, so their only child was named Peter. So that would be for... Uh, their relationship, and then when um, the uh, John Kane died from an illness from being in the Revolutionary War, she married Count Nemshevitz. So now this is Susan Livingston Kane Nemshevitz, okay? And he was a, a Polish count, a count from Poland. So then she married Count Nemshevitz. And what happened because Peter was young when his father's died, the Count educated him, Count Nemchev, with studies and learning Latin and issues like that. So we'll go into the next room. Now this here, these images are of the captain's parents, Hamilton Fish King and Catherine Winslow King. Now you know in the house, uh, for colonial time, they would heat it with fireplaces. But when the colonel inherited the house, he put in heat and hot water. So that's why you have grates in the floor. So come this way. Now I always tell you the history of the room. And this was William Livingston's bedroom. This would be big enough for a bedroom. This is a, a mantle where they have the colonial fireplace and the bed would go over here. So it's big enough for a bedroom, but the Colonel, remember I spoke about him, made all the changes. He made the changes because he was an entrepreneur and made lots of money. And we're going to see the Colonel, his pictures, in another room. So the Colonel made this bedroom the butler's pantry. The butler's pantry. So now the colonel can do what he wants. He put in a dumbwaiter. He put in a dumbwaiter. And he also put in this item here, an elevator. He put in an elevator because one of his daughters hurt her, hurt her leg getting on the ship. And with difficulty walking, he put the elevator in. Also, with his money, what do I have over there, nice John? Nice safe. <laughs> a safe, you know, you have lots of money, you have put in a safe. And here, you see the image of the last man that was a youngster in the house, who is still alive today, and that's John Kane. He is our president. So, come through this area here. Here we have beautiful china that was from a member of the house. So, come this way. 
Now what's helpful when uh, you're giving a tour are the floors. So you know these are the colonial floors. And we'll go in this room, original room. And this here is the Victorian parlor. It's called the Victorian parlor because you see it's set up for tea. It has this beautiful antique furniture that's been recovered with ruby velvet, but this is a typical Victorian parlor. Now I tell you the history. This was the governor's dining room. The other dining room was his library. So this was the governor's dining room, and I'd like to show you behind here is a lever that the governor would lose, use to call the servants. So you'd lift it and it'd ring a bell in the basement. So that's how the governor would let his um, guests know that the um, food is in the basement, that they'll come up with it. So we come here, and so this is the Victorian parlor. Now I told you I was gonna show you the colonel. So here's the colonel. This is the man that made all the money. He was head of Elizabethtown, the gas. So if you were nearby here, I don't know how far you live from uh, Union. Yeah, always. I used to, always, but I used to live in Persephone when I was a kid. Okay, so this is um, <coughs> the colonel, and he made all his money in Elizabethtown Gas, the gas company from Elizabeth. He was head of the uh, New Jersey State Bank. He was head of railroads. He was head of um, the water company. You know, John, money makes money. So he was a great yeah. entrepreneur, <laughs> and what he did with the house, he actually added uh, rooms onto the house. So it started with 14 rooms, Georgian style, and now it's a 50-room Ita Italianate house, a, a mansion, a 50-room mansion now, which Janice likes to tour. But anyway, when you see his children, now the colonel had nine children. Colonel had nine children, and interesting, here are his three sons who never married. Only six children never married. So here's the three sons, here's a scientist, a businessman, and here's his eldest first son called John Kane. So this is the Senator John Kane, and they never married. However, Here's the three daughters that never married. Susan, Elizabeth, and oh, Susan and Lucy and Elizabeth, they never married. Now it's interesting, you have three daughters that didn't marry and three sons that didn't, but they led wonderful lives. The, the women, yeah, they didn't carry on the family very well, though. Well, well there's, there's, <laughs> there's three that married. So here is all the china that the daughters bought. So all the china is seen the house as much as they didn't marry, they traveled. They traveled to Europe often, and you'd see all the beautiful china they bought. In here, the china cabinet and beyond. There is another one. But here is the man that married. So this is Hamilton Fish Payne, which we saw an image of him in the other room, and Catherine Winthrop Payne and their two children. Here is John Payne and his brother Robert. So this Hamilton Fish married, and here's Christine and Carolyn, and they married. So three children married. He had nine, only three married. So we're going to go this way. And you have any questions? You can stop mm, no. me, John. No. Okay. No problem. Go this way if you want to ask any questions. The same thing. I like to show this chandelier because this John was a gas chandelier. It's called a gasolier. And actually, the colonel put it in because he could. So he put this beautiful. It's never been converted, or it's you just know what it is? It, it's been electrified. It has been That's electrified. It. It's okay. been electrified, and usually it's on. It's not on now. So it's electrified, and the colonel kept kept the gas for a while to make sure electricity worked. But it's electrified. So we'll come this way. And we'll come into this room. Now, this room is an add-on by the colonel. Because remember, he added rooms on and he can. So here we go in this room here. 
And this is called the morning room. The morning room. So the morning sun would come in, shut the doors, to stay nice and warm. So it's called the morning room. And the colonel had to put in for the head of the household to meet his wife. And they would go over the china, the food, the menu for the day, and the children would come in and meet the nanny. Because you know, wealthy people, the children are raised by nannies. Also, you look up here, and what you see there, this is the colonel had put in, and if you notice the valves there, see the valves there? This is a gas chandelier. So actually the colonel had this put into a gas chandelier. So uh, here you have the heat and hot water, and in this room, uh, when Mary Alice had a stroke and she lived upstairs, we go, was here already in the bed. When she had the stroke, she couldn't do the stairs. So they made this room for Mary Alice. And what do you need when you have a bedroom? This was her bedroom. She had the stroke. What do you need when you have a bedroom? A, a, a bedroom or, or? No, this a, would be her bedroom. So yeah. what would you need? A bathroom. So then they put a toilet in for her. So then we have a toilet there. And that's very good for when we have teens to have the toilet. So we like to look over here, John. And we show you the last people that lived in the house. Here's the captain who's passed, and Mary Alice who's passed, and the three children that lived in this house. This is Mary Alice, her brother Stuart, and here's John Kane Sr., who's the president of the museum and is still alive today. He's 90. So here's John Kane. Here's an image of the colonel when he was younger. Never think of him as a young man. And this is the cane crest up there. So this is my favorite room only because I put this marble fireplace. All the other rooms, the ones that have fireplaces are white marble. But I particularly like this one. And I also like it because I like the antiques that are in here. The bird clock with all these strange looking birds on it. And in the images of these urns are birds, but it just happens to be my favorite room. And I like it because of, Who's in the uh, urns? Because of the, uh, of the objects you see here. And here you can see an Audubon print, and it's of a wild turkey. And in colonial time, this was wanted to be a national bird. And do you know what, ma'am? wanted it, Benjamin Franklin. He wanted this to be our national bird, but thank God it, it's not the national bird. What is our national bird? The eagle. The, the oh, yeah, yeah, national is the eagle. I was thinking New Jersey. No, I didn't. But they, they actually wanted turkey? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the United Turkey State. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> to your tour. They unfortunately could not wait the other hour. So they're just going to uh, take the more from here. Okay. Yeah, no, is that okay? That's fine, Father. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so my name is Janice, and you're Sherry. June. 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 Yeah, no, June. No, no. Just June. June. John. Oh, it's June. And what's your name? John. 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 Oh, I like it. June and John. Okay. So we'll put the part of the book. Janice. 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 And we have here John oh. and Nicole. Nicole. Okay, so we're going to continue to be So we're both here. And, uh, we're going to go um, up the stairs. Usually we go on the porch, but they're doing something on the porch now. So we usually do the, the porch, but we'll do that on the way down. So we're going to go up the stairs now. Now, of course, you know that the stairs, the upstairs are the original to the house because it was two stories. So we're going upstairs now. And we're going to pass a room that you just glance in. We don't go in here. It's a toy room. The ceiling is too low, so we don't go in there. So what is this on the side of the bedroom? Come up the stairs. Colonial rooms. We're going to pass this here so 
so nobody peek in because uh, we're not going in that room yet. But I'd like to tell you that that room would be larger. It would be actually to that wall. But what happened was, remember we spoke with the colonel? Mm -hmm. He broke through the wall and made these rooms here. So we're going to go into this room here. Now, because there are servings in the house, not today, so don't touch it. There's call bells in all the rooms, wow. Charlene, all the rooms. But don't ring it. So here. <laughs> the rooms that the colonel put on. And we see his image here. So it's always helpful for Janice when I come in the room. I think it's the colonel's room. This was his bedroom. Oh, wow. so this was his bedroom, and what Mary Alice, the last person to live in the house, decided to have it um, papered just like it was. So here is paper from the past that the colonel had, and she had her son Stuart go to Paris, and he found this paper that's similar. So, so this is um, called Toile. It's not a paper, it's actually twelve. So, oh, yeah, yeah it, it's material. It's material. usually show you, this is the material. This is material wallpaper. <laughs> and that was the original wallpaper <laughs> years ago. Is, they didn't have yeah, the wallpaper when 12, they used to do that. that. With, uh, with the, oops, the kernel. So it was restored back to his style. Because Mary Alice lived in the house and this was her room and when her husband died in 1949 she closed the room had it re-papered and moved into the suite so we're going to go into the suite but we can walk you know I'm, you know what uh nicole i'm so used to the banners i forget i can walk you know you never you don't say uh, here but no. actually you can walk in here around the room this was this is a original sword wow. that was his sword and then you see all these antiques are from the daughters that traveled to Europe. So all the beautiful antiques, we're still documenting their, um, their wealth and, and where they're from. So Is these, are, these pictures are just pictures of oh, Victorian time. Okay. So we're going to go into the next room. The suite. So the colonel had these rooms put on for his daughter, and this is where Mary Alice moved in when her husband came in 1949. So this was her bedroom. So this is Mary Alice's bedroom, and she decided to de dedicate this room to her parents. So coming. Charlene and uh, Stephanie. Oh, and Victor. Are you a new guest? Okay. <laughs> Victor is with us too. So if we look at this image here, this is of Mary Alice Barney Kane's mother. So what's interesting about uh, the people that lived in the house, they all had similar names. So Mary Alice Barney Kane's mother was Mary Alice Vaness. So this is Mary Alice Vanessa mother, and uh, this is her father here, Jay Stewart. So now she used the name Stewart for her son. So that's Jay Stewart. And here are the three children that lived in the house. This is Stewart, who passed. Here is Mary Alice, who passed. And here is the, the person who lived in our house, and this is actually John Cain, our president. So this man is still alive, he's 90. He's the one that um, lives here in the spring and summer, and then goes back to Florida. So this is... Um, but no one lived here John Cain. No, nobody lives here since um, Mary Alice died. In 1995. So when she died, they closed the house and uh, opened it, renovated it. it. Took five years and opened it in 2000. So nobody knew. 
So we're going to just look at, you can go in those rooms and just look. One is um, a dressing room that we all have. Here's a, is that correct, Charlotte? Yeah, I want to take a picture of the bathroom. You can take any pictures in the bathrooms there. And, and these are, um, are what the, um, would be from the 1800s. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But, I'm just looking at it. So you can go in there too, John. I, I went. You did go in there already? Well, now I did tell them before Charlene, don't ring them. The well, servants are not here today. But every <laughs> every room has call bells. Because you know when you're wealthy, there's they have servants. So come this way. Now we're going to go back into the colonial portion. So that was put on by the colonel. Here we are in the 1700s again. Here we are in the 1700s. And we're going to go into the room that I said was made smaller because this room would have been to there. So come in here. Come in here. And this room here is for the man that wore this uniform. And it's the only, only son not named John. John came. So this is actually Peter's room. Peter's room. Because every first son was called John. And this is John here, so step and John. And you're John too. Yeah. John. So here is Sarah Sarah Mars. That's the wife of oh, Peter. Peter. And they had many children. But what happened in colonial time, uh, there was uh, medical reasons, so a lot died. And they only had three living children. So in the back here we have a mourning print. We have a mourning print and that says in memory of the, the two cane girls. Isn't that funny? It passes me. <laughs> so I'll go over there, which I can. The two cane daughters who died at one and two, they died at um, a couple days apart. So then she had this mourning print done, and it's in memory of the daughters. Now, they often did mourning prints. So this is a mourning print, and it's in memory of her two daughters, um, Susan Kane and Helen Kane. And so actually that was in memory of her two daughters that died, but three children lived. I forgot to tell you, this here is a, a fake fireplace. I always like to tell you because the, the wall went over there, so they put right. in a fake fireplace just to show a, a fireplace would have been on that wall. Okay? Oh, wow. I'm going to lock that. So we're going to go into this next room here, this hall right here. Now remember I told you the colonel made all the changes. So this would have been a bedroom. This would have been a bedroom because upstairs you'd have the bedrooms. But the colonel, what he did was he raised the floor. Why did he raise the floor? For pipes. So he put pipes. pipes. So he put pipes in and made it a bathroom. So we can walk in here. It would have been a bedroom, but we see this bathroom. We walk in here and we can see a better image of the um, chestnut tree that was planted by William Livingston's daughter. So we can see there, and you can walk in there. That's the original June. tub. This is the original tub when he put it in. This is the bathroom. This is, a, this is an 1800 bathroom, so you have the uh, cast iron tub. You can walk in there if you want to, Stephanie. Do you want to walk in there? You can walk in there. Look this room. Walk in here if you want to look at the bathroom. So we're going to come into this here room, June. And where did you come from? I'm from Las Vegas. Pardon? Las Vegas. I guess you don't want to go apple picking then. <laughs> Las Vegas. But it's okay. We're not going to do apple picking. Yeah, we don't we have do apple picking. We, <laughs> we do that <laughs> in September and October. But usually if you're nearby, I usually talk about that. 
So this here room, and this is always a test, this room is a colonial room. Huh? So this is actually, because you can see the wooden mantle, this is a, a colonial room, and the fireplace. Now we don't sit in any of Stephanie because they're all antiques. Right? So this is a, a colonial room, and I'd like to ask you if anybody is a history person, and they know the treasure of, with George Washington, does anybody know the treasure? Mm. No, it's okay. It was Alexander Hamilton. So Alexander oh, yeah. Hamilton lived in the house for three months. He only lived here three months because he, he, the minister in the West Indies, he's born in the West Indies, um, knew, William Livingston, and he knew William Livingston would help educate Alexander Hamilton because he was a teenager, so he sent him here to be educated. Now what happened with Alexander Hamilton, he was so bright that uh, William Livingston, after three months, sent him to Elizabeth Town Academy, which is nearby. Now after that, Alexander Hamilton, for college, wanted to go to the best college in New Jersey. The best college. Do you know the best college in New Jersey? Because uh, you're from Las Vegas. So the best college in New Jersey. Victor, tell me the best college in New Jersey. Princeton. Princeton. And you know, I want to go there too. I want to go to Princeton too. But Alexander Hamilton couldn't go there because he didn't have enough higher education. So he didn't go to Princeton. He went to King's College. King's College in New York, and King's College is Columbia University today. Right. Columbia University today. But we know the tragedy of Alexander Hamilton and Nicole. I'll just show you this image here. This is an image of where Alexander Hamilton was shot. He died here, but this is where he was shot. It's a little park. And uh, it says, the spot where Hamilton fell. You see, he died there. He was shot there by Aaron Burr. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. I would have asked you, Stephanie, but I don't want to ask too many questions. But there's no prizes, if you know the answers. <laughs> but actually, uh, Aaron Burr shot, shot Alexander Hamilton. He uh, fell there, but then he died in the house nearby. So he didn't die there. So we're going to go into this. So this is a colonial room. And we're going to go into the next room. And John, are you with me? This yep. room was put on by who? Who made all the changes? The colonel. Oh, I forgot your name. Colonel. The colonel put okay. this room on. But he could. He had so much money. And this room. This room is dedicated to the wife of that man. Now, does anybody know, who is that man? George Washington. George Washington, thanks, Charlene. This is George Washington. Do you know his wife, though? Because nobody remembers her name. It's sad. I know, I don't remember. Starts with an M. Martha. 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 So this is Martha Washington's room. This is funny wow. because they, you didn't see the beginning story, but Martha Washington and George Washington came to the wedding. Uh, I was just going to say, what was Martha doing with you with the Colonel? Well, this is not, it was with the, they came to the wedding. Remember, they came okay. to the wedding of Susan Livingston, of Sarah Livingston. They came to the wedding, and because they were in the house, they decided to dedicate a room for her. Not that she slept here. So we can walk around. Mm -hmm. And uh, Stephanie, what's interesting, because you've been looking at this, this is actually a shower. Oh, shower? Yeah, it's a shower. You stand in the center, and then you pour the water over you, because you know there's no water in the house. Where does the water come from? Where did the water? There's no water in the house in colonial time. From the pipe? From no, no, it was before they did that. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they had this in everybody's room. Back then, the, right. The well. Yeah, oh, the I thought there's oh. like a <laughs> the well. You're right. So the well, there is, the water would come outside, and they would put the uh, cold water here and heat the hot water. There's no hot water here. And somebody would stand in this, and this is a shower. Oh, uh -huh. I thought this, this is uh, called uh, a, a 
That's mm -hmm. not a foot bath. You stand in it. It's oh, a shower. Yeah, 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 because they do that. Community. And then that someone will, will, will the someone the maid will will wash. Yeah, it. your servant or your dirty servant. Mm -hmm. So here, it, the water will be put in coming from the well, mm -hmm. and then to drain it, you just lift it up because you see the the empty opening there. That's to lift it up. Mm -hmm. So I would like to show you John because yeah. you, I know you want to know. <laughs> here Absolutely. Is, the rest of the house that the colonel put on. So that's part of it being a mansion. We don't go into those rooms, but I like to tell you because it's right there now. They have stairs for the so, bed. Huh? So the little stairs, you know why it's little? Why? Well, how tall was Martha Washington? Uh, five foot. So she was so small. Almost five foot, they put the stairs there for her. Not that she slept here, but if she did, there were stairs there. Okay. And here we have this here is an antique bed warmer, and in warmer. colonial time, you only have you only um, have heat from the fireplace. So that they put this in the fireplace, get it warmed, and put it on the bed. Oh, there's no so heat in the room. Mm -hmm. Wow! So, now watch your step coming up, John. John, watch your step here, John. Come on, come on. When he inherited the house, he expanded it to be a 50 room mansion. So now we have a 50 room mansion, but there's 14 rooms that it began with. And then this, I am showing you some of the rooms because uh, that one, I'll show you the ones that are added on. That one was added on. But now I have to show you the Colonel because the Colonel. I uh, was not an architect, so this shows you he was not an architect. And June, what do we have here? What is this here? Cabinet. Well, no, it's the wall. What no. is it? The outside wall. Oh, okay. So this would be the outside wall of the house. So you know the colonel, he didn't put, like you know, you usually put uh, like a fancy fiberboard or over it, you wouldn't see. But he just left it the, way, the outside yeah, as the inside. Yeah, so this is really the outside wall. Yeah. But you can see that. So come this way. We're going to go back into the colonial house. So go this way. And here we have the colonel. So this would have been a bedroom. Now we can tell because the colonel changes. This would be a, a colonial bedroom. Because you see here a uh, ceramic tile from Pennsylvania. Dutch tile that would have been in colonial time. You see the wooden mantle, which is a colonial mantle, and the fireplace here, and the hearth here, but the colonel throws into it. So the colonel put that room on, and we're going to go into another room. Now you might want to hold it here because there's no way to So come this way. Uh, I'll have to ask John, not June. John. John, mm -hmm. what do I have over here? The Remember I told you the woman that hurt her hip, what did they put in for her? Dressing room. You can't walk around? What are those? Uh, elevator? The elevator. Okay, the elevator. That's right. Well, I'll make the elevator. That's the elevator in this house. How many floors is this house? Two, two floors plus the attic. Oh, so we awesome. only do these floors here. And this floor would have been all bedrooms, but now you know this was... This was the doll room. This was actually, this was the bedroom of the girl behind you, and that's Mary Alice. So that was her, this would have been her bedroom, but we had a toy exhibit, so we kept the dolls from it, because everybody liked looking at the dolls. Wow. So you see here, the dolls had many faces, so here's a wooden face doll. Here's a wooden oh, here's a wooden face doll. That would be a colonial doll from somebody in the house. This is a porcelain face doll. They were made in Germany. They bought porcelain face, but when there was the war, then they made bisque faces. Well, they didn't buy you a dollhouse like that, they did They made bisque faces <laughs> we had the war with Germany. And then they became bisque faces, and then we have rubber face dolls. And we have this very old doll here. And we have, here we have the girl in the house, and it's Mary Alice. <laughs> And here's the problem with Mary Alice. She didn't like her name after her mother and grandmother. This was her, her um, 
Dollhouse. Dollhouse, thank you. And we look at this Charlene over here. Now Mary Alice did not like her name, so what did she change it to? Stephanie May. May. So she didn't want to be called Mary Alice because her mother and grandmother were Mary Alice, so she changed it to May. She could. So here you can look in the dollhouse here, of the original furnishings, and this is from the 1800s because if you look inside and see the women in their long dresses, so 1800s, plus you see the men separated, separated. that was a different time. The men were over the, the women were here, the men are here, and look at their clothes. They're wearing tuxedos, which I approve of. <laughs> they have tuxedos here, and the women are in their dresses. And this is really a three-story mansion with the uh, downstairs. They're cooked down there. So, so you can look at the dolls. They're all in the house and the furniture there. So this was uh, a home of Mary Alice. So come this way. Garden. 
And when I was in here, when I was in here um, last year, I saw a red fox running out there. True story, I saw a red fox. And, and here we got my guests, and we're all looking, oh, look, there's a red fox out there. There was a red fox running around outside there. So that was fun. So that's the end of us sitting. But I'd like okay. to sit for a moment. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. June? Yeah, can, we, can we go around the, uh, the, um, the other ladies? Yeah. Uh, we'll see how much time. Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, because there, there'll be a I will give you the blueberry. We're going to go down on the basement. We'll be going down to the basement. And these are the original brick floors because it is the original wow. basement. So, original brick floors. Wow. The original brick floors. And here, here we see the colonial kitchen. So this is the colonial kitchen of so John. That was the original they, the house. So this is where they cook? This is where in the 1700s they cook. So there's a colonial kitchen with the hearth there. And so you know, it's, you know that it is um, for cooking because the hearth has a crane. So it's for cooking. So here is the colonial kitchen. And I just want to show you Stephanie because I know John is a little restless. What is this article here? It's actually from colonial time. Is it cheese? What is it? Cheese. No. No. Is that so? No. It would be was shipped from India. It would be wrapped in sugar. That's what it is. No. You're right. And see that up here, those gyres, they would flip it open with the food. Pliers to, wow. to use the sugar. So sugar was wrapped like this, and oh, that ate in their home. <laughs> that was a Parmesan cheese. Yeah, and that interesting. But, um, this sugar never had any ants. And they it's not ground up, that's all. Yeah, it's it's not, all like it's melted sugar and. Yeah, they didn't have packaging like we do nowadays, so they just shipped it like that. Never was dirty, you scraped off the outside, and then you got the good children. Okay. Is that bad, John? Um, you and uh, John and you and Kenny Davis. Uh, John, John's over there. Come on, Dad. No, you can see, John. Come on. All right, I'm going to stay. Okay, here. Yeah. He didn't come down here. He came down here. Yeah. He didn't come down here. Yeah. The cooks came down here. Yeah. And see, you missed the, um, here's the bell that will be up to the dining room. Wow. So that's how we pull. The cook and for his concierge, but you know what? He could smell the concierge because the dining room's right above us. But oh. anyway, I said bell, everything is the original. The bell, you know, when you eat stuff. Because yeah. I don't yeah. see any channel over here. Oh, that's because <laughs> it's colonial, that's why. Okay. It's all the way down. So we're going to go this way now. Look at the iron. We see this is a room handed on. Because this is a colonial portion, this was added on. And I might as well ask June what room we're in. Uh, the uh, the well, washroom. Yes. Washroom. Your father's right. This is the laundry room. How do you know? Because a lot of iron and there's a washing machine. Oh, that's it. This is the laundry room. So yeah. what it is, the laundry room, and I think I told John, that the colonel put rooms on without changing the wall. So you see, here's the outside wall there, but this is the laundry room. And you miss the colonel was head of the gas company. Remember? Right, okay. John head the gas company. So what do we have here? We'll ask you, June. What's this? Uh, that's the dryer. Correct. Oh, this is the dryer. Oh, wow. yeah. this, uh, the, are you this is, me? This no. is a hotel, like a hotel dryer. Wow. And you pull it out, and the colonel had nine children. They're, so they're, you using, nine they're, children. they're using charcoal. No, because the oh. colonel was head mm -hmm. of the um, gas, the gas the company. <laughs> so so they own gas jets. Yes. Because, do you know? Because okay. back in the old days, we have this kind of iron. Oh, right. But they're, they're using irons. They're yeah. using charcoal. They put the thing in there, but mm -hmm. this here had gas. This so gas. I'm assuming they're using charcoal too. But well, not here because it's a okay. gas dryer. These are it's different periods. Mm -hmm. So this is with the gas dryer. The colonel was head of the gas company. Different because here, here June, you see different periods. 
This is from colonial time, because to do the ruffles. This is what, um, um, 1800s too, that they would put poles in it to have the weight. And here's from regular time. Wow. Yeah. Stephanie, you know what? I ask questions, but Julie's not getting any prizes, because he yeah. only knows the answers. I'm not giving him